happen. She baited him into it, okay, and baited into com for him to confirm that she's a priority to him, right? Damsel in distress energy, baby, okay? You know, look how she's even chilling in his bosom. Do you know how? No, no, you don't even understand. This is psychological, what the, what's going through his head. The fact that a girl wants to chill in your bosom like that, you know, and she's soft and she's dainty and, you know, feminine to you, right? And you're protecting her, right? When she lays in your arms like that, you feel like you're the man. You feel like because your masculine, your masculine energy is, is being pulled from you now. Of course, you feel good. To the, to the world, Rashid is her man. That's her boo. Okay, so if that's your boo, then why are you over here straddling? You look unstable. Denise, listen, it's a game show, it's dating. I get why you're stressed, because I wouldn't have it in real life, but it's a dating show, sis. And I'm not gonna be real with you, like, you're gonna have to play the game. I don't like the fact you have to play the game, but you don't have to play the game, because that's the game, you understand? And it's because you like him so much, and you want it to be him so much, that you can't, you can't see him with Adriana. You can't, you can't, you don't want that to be a vision. You don't want that to be in your head. You don't want to see that. And I can understand that because at the end of the day, what you're really saying is, I really like you and you're going to hurt me doing this behavior, which is fair enough, you know? So that's why I can understand why you said, obviously, you know, that you want to, that some people are here for true love. Wants a cake and eat it too. You can't do that when people out here are for real. This is their real life. They really want love and you, and you trying to and did it and you know that Adriana, look, Adriana is playing, but I keep saying it, your boy playing too. No, 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 real spit, yo. She playing Adriana, but so is Kafani. He knows exactly what he's getting himself into, right? And maybe he attracts these type of girls all the time. And the reason why, because he's so laid back, so chilled, and maybe because also, because he doesn't as assert, because he doesn't assert himself, it's women that are approaching him. He's making a choice of those women. Maybe also too as well. Maybe he's not good at choosing women. Maybe he's not good at choosing what he actually needs. Because if he keeps meeting these girls that keep doing the same thing, maybe he's not good at choosing the right type of women, right? So your boy has to take responsibility too, Denise, right? Um, uh, you know, he's probably just, and he's enjoying, he's enjoying, listen, Adriana, pretty gal, you understand? He's taking, he's just taking opportunity to, to mess while he can. Let's keep it real. He's enjoying. He's taking opportunity while he can about it. Do you feel me? Um... And so if Kafani's um, um, saying, obviously, that, you know, he doesn't like jealousy and the energy she's been bringing to the table. So he goes to visit her in the room. Right. Um, you know, and then he said, obviously, about the fact that if she continues, she's going to knock herself out. She's already knocked out, bro. Let's be honest. Let me be very frank with you. Let me say it for you, bro. She's already been knocked out. She's been knocked out. Look, that's why Adriana was able to creep in. You were never sold on um, Denise all the way through. But the energy that Denise has been showing me, like with the jealousy or the insecurity, I don't like that. Come here. I don't do drama. I don't have a lot. Right? I'm not saying that you didn't like her. I want to be very, very clear. I'm not saying that you didn't like her. I'm not saying that you didn't desire her in some way. But what I'm saying is you were never fully 100% convinced. Yeah? Whether that was her attitude, whether it was her energy, whether that was just because you just found her pretty, but maybe didn't find her. That wasn't your type. I don't know. But you weren't fully all the way convinced. 100%. You weren't. Right, you were opened from the very beginning. That's why when she came to you earlier on and said about, you know, seeing you Adriana, you were like, look, just let's keep it open, let's keep it dating process, da da da. Yeah, yeah, you were never hundred percent sold, right? Just still figuring out hundred percent. Okay. Now it's that simple. We know how guys act. When you're sold, you collect. That's as simple as it is. When they're sold, they collect. When they're sold, they collect. You get me? All right, cool. Um <clears throat> He said, obviously, uh, uh, he said to her in the bedroom, like, you know, in respect of when you are talking to someone, I would never come over and just kind of like, you know, disrespect. Obviously, Adriana's done that to her, but he's saying, obviously, he wouldn't do that to her. And the reason why I wouldn't do that to her is because he's not going to feel that way. He doesn't, first of all, he doesn't, need to, he doesn't need to move like that, right? That's not his gameplay. That's not his MO. He's a guy that, listen, goes, you come to me, which is why she's complaining later on that, why didn't you come over? The reason why I don't come over is because, listen, you come to me. That's the way I play the game, sis. Like, have you not been watching? Have you not been paying attention the whole time? I, you come to me. That's how he plays the game. And I think as much as, I, you know, that, there's different ways to play the game. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's his method. That's his way of doing things. So, um, you know, I, I can see why she's a little bit frustrated. I can see why she's a little bit uh, annoyed by that. Because obviously for her, you know, she wants him to make her number one. That's why she said later. I'm all in. And I know we're on a journey and date and everything. But I want him to see that there is no other connection than me. I, I get it. I understand. But he's not in that mode. He's not in that flex, man. Um, 
And so obviously, you know, Kofani at that point as well actually started to lose words. The brother was there like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like that, his lips were deliberating, bro. Listen, they were deliberating. You know that when your lips are doing, a, you were doing a, like pig from Looney Tunes blood. Listen, the man didn't have an answer, Rude Boy. Because at the end of the day, in response to her uh, question about... Um, Do I matter <clears throat> enough for you to get up and come to me first? I, you, you didn't ask After, me. You didn't I, ask. I shouldn't have to ask. Mm, you know, uh, I, I don't matter enough for you to come over. He didn't have nothing to say because, bruv, at the end of the day, what do you want to say? Yeah, of course you matter enough for me to come over, but I told, but you know what I was doing? I was chilling. Like, you knew, you saw what I was doing. So, like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, you know how I've moved. I've moved the exact same way as I have before. But what you're asking for is exclusivity. And I can't give you exclusivity because I'm keeping my options open, right? And she says, oh, I shouldn't have to ask because he's not a mind reader. Um, and, you know, that's my point, you know. Um, you know, and, and, and obviously, you know, he said, obviously, I want you to be confident. I want you to know that you've left such an impact. Listen, all that chat is crud. It's crud. It's crud. It's crud. It's crud. It's crud. Yeah. Don't get twisted. As men, we want to see women that are confident about themselves, not insecure. Yeah. If I'm sitting and talking to this woman, you should be confident enough to know that you left such an impact I do. on me. I, that I you agree. Don't really um, a little bit of insecurity, you understand it. But when there is, it gets to the point where you suffocate a man, no man wants that. Yeah. So, and again, my point that I said about Denise being aggressive, it's not assertive, was made by who? Kafani. Not by me. Not by me, but Kafani. And Jay said it in the very end to her, right? Okay, cool. No man wants to really, no real man really. I said, no, 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 no. A lot of men do not want a woman that is going to suffocate them. And we're going to talk about this in another video, right? Jealousy and insecurity, how it suffocates people. No man wants the woman to suffocate them where they are scared to talk to other women. Yeah, he, he, doesn't wanna, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want to feel like I'm doing bad because I'm talking to a woman when it's a dating show. Yeah. So when he said, obviously, I want you to be confident that you've left such an impact. Part of it is absolutely true. You should be confident that you've left an impact. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. There's a second side to this, which is that, look, be confident and know that, you know, you've left such an impact also means, <laughs> listen, you should know that, listen, you've left an impact, but doesn't mean I'm going to choose you. Because at the end of the day, that part, part of it is a, is a cover. He knows he's not going to choose her. Like, otherwise, you'd assure her and say, listen, look, you've left such an impact. Don't worry, I've got you. Right. Like, like KG did to uh, Naya. Why didn't he, why didn't Kafani do that? Because he's not there. That's the whole point. The reason why he didn't assure her is because she's not there. You understand? So he's not going to do that because he's not going to box himself in. True for the matter. Roll spit. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, she hasn't got any power in this scenario. So her jealousy is going to build and her feelings of her are going to build because she hasn't got no power in this interaction because she doesn't genuinely like Anthony. Anthony was just a layway. Like I say layway. Anthony was just a little get by, you know, Anthony was a little time burner. He was a placeholder. Like winter is to, to, to Jay and to Jay with joy. Like let's be freaking real blood. Yeah. So that's why. And, uh, but, but, but um, Kafani has genuine interest from Adriana and he has interest from Denise. So his stock is in play, baby. His stock is in play. You understand? When I like and love somebody real hard, it is, I'm all in. And I know we're on a journey and date and everything, but I want him to see that there is no other. Con she loves hard. And I, I, I know that. I appreciate that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's the hard part of this show, which is why I said I don't do this show. Because me too, you know, I love heart, you know? When I love you, I love you, you understand? Like, so I'm not about to be on a show where blood, man can catch his feelings and you're catching a flight. No, 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 no. It's not for guys like me. It's not for guys like me. They would do what they did to Chris to me. Ah, no, 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 it's not for me. Allow it, brave. Allow it, brave. Um, and she says, obviously, she wants to show him that there's another, there isn't another connection other than her. And that's the problem. You wanted to show him that is fine, but it's starting to impede on his movements. And he's now feeling suffocated. He's feeling like every movement's been watched, every movement's been judged, everything that he's doing is bad. And so now he's gonna be feeling like, blood, I can't do anything around this girl. This is not a girl for me. When you're a woman doing this to a man, a man wants to feel like he has freedom. So it's not like you let, listen, don't choose a guy that's a prick. No, 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 no. We don't choose guys that are idiots. No, no, no. But when you choose a good guy, yeah, you got to give him rain to be free. 
you're with him and that you ride for him. Pretty much you want to make sure that she's not a jealous person and be comfortable when he's around other women. That doesn't mean he can do anything he wants. It means that just allow him to maneuver. It's not when he's now talking to another female or, you know what I'm saying, or talking to a female colleague or talking to someone that he works with or someone he's doing business with and you're like, well, let me get up in this business. No, 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 no. let him breathe. Trust him. You've got to. And you've got to make that choice to trust him. If you don't, you are suffocating him. And therefore, and, and the thing about men who are driven is they will never sacrifice their drive for you. Right. There are one. And, and there, are, there are exceptions. There are guys that will sacrifice their drive and their dream and their goals for you. But the majority of guys who are driven and have no and know where they're going will not surrender their goals and their dreams for you. Because there are more than a dozen a dime more gal that are going to come that look as bad as you, talk as bad as you, have the same mindset as you. You are not invaluable. So you're not going to be, you're not going to be the guy, you're not going to be stopping this guy from going, hold on a minute, for letting me do what I need to do to live my dream. Nah, there's other girls that are going to be out there, bro. So what he's going to, what he's seeing is, you're not going to suffocate me. There's other things out there, bro. Like, no, like, relax, stay confident, stay, you know what, stay, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's his words for her. If you need more connections, I'm need just... I'm I'm just still figuring out a hundred percent. Okay. Just now that I know that. I know how to. He, like he said, he's still figuring it out. Like I said, what did I tell you? What what did I what did I tell you? He's still figuring it out. He's still trying to he's still trying to have his cake and eat it. It's just that simple. He's having his cake and eat. It. He's not sold on her. Um. So he's just vibes in. Look, if Adriana goes back to Rashid, he'll go back to Denise fully. Yeah. And and, and as long as he's in the show. Um, you know, and, and the comments that he made about um, Adriana on the boat was interesting. He said he likes her vibe, he likes her flow, he likes her look, her mindset and bubbly and positive outlook on life. Um, you know, and it was interesting because the the kiss that obviously happened, you know, they were talking and you could see that there was a moment. It was a perfect moment for the kiss. Maybe we'll talk about this on another video. It was a perfect moment for the kiss. So when you see Kafani like and Adriana sitting the way they were sitting, I was just like, listen, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Like she was waiting for him to, to to kiss. I was thinking that maybe she might take the lead, but she allowed him to have that space to make it. And he got closer. She didn't move. He got closer. She didn't move. And then bam, the lips was different, blood. Now we haven't. I don't know. Has he lips Denise like that? I don't know if he has. If I'm honest with you, I don't know if he has. Maybe they've cut it out of the, the thing not to fit a storyline, but it looks like he hasn't done that with Denise, right? And so for him to lips Adriana like that blood, yeah, means that fam, man is in the work mode. He's he's ready to go. Yeah, I'm not saying that he wants to date Adriana forever. All I'm saying is he got what he wanted. Yeah, he got what he wanted. Yeah, he's taken it slow. He's patiently prided it. He hasn't pushed it too much. He's locked in Adriana, right? That's her sexual type. Sexual seduction. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's that's her type. And so, you know, ah, man, it's here's my thing. I want to say this again for you guys. The guy knows what he wants. Yeah. So listen, sometimes guys are biding their time to see if they can get better. If they can't, they settle with you. That simple. I'm going to leave it there. Guys, don't forget as well, grab and join on to our Patreon, Little Black Book 91. If you're about marriage and you want marriage counselling, advice and therapy and them kind of things, they are, join Marriage Council UK Patreon, okay? We're going to have some great stuff coming out at the end of the month. Guys, I appreciate you. Stay locked. Stay loaded. And don't forget as well, watch out for our podcast that's coming out as well, guys. We're going to have to drop some gems and gems for you. Get me? Appreciate you guys. Stay locked and stay loaded.